We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. This week's theme is tattoos, so we're basically going to talk about the tattoos that we have, the tattoos that we want, or if we have a negative opinion about tattoos, we can rant about why tattoos are bad. And earlier this week, I did a video about uh, what tattoos I think people should never, ever, ever get anymore, and I'll link that. Uh, so now, uh, for the collab, I'm going to talk about good tattoos. Now, I think tattoos are great because they show off your personality and it's like a good body modification. Uh, but unfortunately, I am not old enough to get one yet, so I'm counting it down. Actually, I have a widget on my phone. 51 days until I can get a tattoo. So I eventually want to get a very casual sleeve going on on my left arm. Uh, it's not going to be all grouped together or all pretty and stuff. Well, it's going to be nice looking, but it's not going to be like a design. It's going to be like things that represent my personality and my interests just sprayed out all over my sleeve. And I have no idea which one I'm going to get first, but I have quite a few in mind. Uh, one is a zombie, because zombies are cool. I was thinking of getting a Ministry of Silly Walks tattoo, um, and I was thinking I could combine the zombie one and that one into, like, kind of like a zombie silly walk, and so that'd be cool, because it combines zombies and comedy, and it'll just be epic. I just rewatched what I filmed so far, and I am fucking boring as shit, so I'm gonna try prepping this up for you guys. I also want a tattoo that shows off my love of comedy and my love of cats. And so I was thinking of getting, like, the comedy mask. Like, you know, tragedy, comedy. It's gonna be the comedy mask, except it's gonna be, like, a cat's face. Kind of. And it'll be blue, because I love that color. And it also uh, shows off my love of uh, classic theater. So that'll be pretty awesome. I'm a big fan of combining ideas for tattoos, in case you haven't noticed. I would also love to get some kind of atheist tattoo, but I don't know which symbol I want yet. Because if I get, like, the evolution Darwin fish, then people are just going to think it's, like, the the Jesus fish if they're not up close to see it. And I don't want to be mistaken for a Jesus freak. And um, I was thinking of getting, like, the, the Adam A logo for atheism. But then I thought, that's really, really unoriginal. So I, 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 I want an atheist tattoo, but I just don't know what I'm going to get yet. I also want to get a tattoo for my grandparents, but I'm going to wait until they're dead because I don't think they would be honored by a tattoo. They really, really, really hate tattoos. So I think they would feel guilty that they were the inspiration for one of my tattoos. So I'm just going to wait till they die. Uh, it'll be a nice tribute anyway. And um, it's going to be two owls, um, either inside of a king and queen card or holding a king and queen playing card in their mouth because my grandparents absolutely adore owls. And uh, they taught me every single game, card game I know. I'm also kind of a big fan of, like, food tattoos. So I was thinking of, like... Like, showing my gluttony by getting, like, a cheeseburger tattooed, but I don't think I'm going to get that for a few years. There are also a few text tattoos that I want, but I haven't figured them out yet because I still don't know the fonts that I want. I still don't know the size that I want, and I don't know where to put it because if you have a text tattoo in the wrong spot, it looks awful. But anyway, the text tattoos I want are um, Neither Now Nor Ever Shall I Leave You from the Grim Fairy Tale Fund of Ogle. It's extremely... Uh, uncommon. Pete never, nobody ever knows about Funda Vogel, but I love it. It's basically about this kid who is adopted by like this woodsman, and he takes the kid who they named Funda Vogel because uh, he looks like a bird, and Funda Vogel is like a bird. Um, he takes it home to his daughter Lena, and they become like really, 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 really close. But then like the cook Santa wants to eat Funda Vogel. And so Lena uh, gets Funda Vogel to hide, and they do like they turn into like magical things to hide. And every time Lena helps uh, 
Funda Vogel, she's like, you're never gonna leave me, right? And Funda Vogel's like, neither now nor ever shall I leave you. So, I wanna get that tattooed, because I love the story, I love fairy tales in general, and I just think that's an awesome thing, because it shows, like, the bond between two people. I also wanna get, on se fout pas mal de la morale, on se bien qui fait pas de mal, a uh, tattooed somewhere. It roughly translated means, we don't give a shit about morals, we know that we're not evil. It's from the French rock opera Romeo et Juliette in a song called Le Roi de Monde. Um, I really like that line because it shows that you don't need morals to be a good person. As long as you're a good person, you can be like, you can be like a whore or like a sinner and still be a good person. I want to get some kind of Canada tattoo, but I don't know what I'm going to get yet. I don't want to get the flag because it's way too Trudeau-ish and I love Trudeau. But I just, I don't think that um, it really represents Canada. It really just represents him. And I want something that represents Canada. I downloaded the same kind of system that uh, Jess has on her phone. And the name I drew is Lissa. So Lissa, you are going to have to sing Friday. All of it. So enjoy.